Two tribes sworn to hate. Their blood-stained bodies left out in the open to rot. Their souls longing for a peace that they failed to find. As they sought to break the shackles of darkness and heal the wounds of the past, fate denied their quest and thrust them into war. The bridges of hope some dared to build between them were torn asunder. Their dreams were ripped from their hearts with a sword, with a destiny revealed at last. Just relax. This will only hurt for a second. It's stronger than Katana. And sharper. Ogun, what is this? What is your ninja using? <laughs> Wielding his Kokujo technique, Yashimaru controls his opponent's fate. Coated in animal oil, the shiny black strands from young women will slice you in half. But there is one drawback. Kokajo is only lethal if he hits his target. Otherwise, it's useless. You're a pitiful sight, old man. Now, prepare to die! I think it may be too early to claim the victory, young one. Something spewed from your ninja's mouth. That was Kazamachi's phlegm. What kind of creature is he? <laughs> Don't be fooled by appearances. That pest can't overcome Yashumaru's Kokajo. <laughs> you think I'd appoint an insect to represent the Koga? Kazamachi's phlegm is a hundred times stickier than any glue. I'd like to see your ninja cut through his impenetrable web of death. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, cry like the bitch you are. I'll go easier on you. You know, make sure it's quick and painless. Mm. Damn you. Adding insult to injury? Your head is mine! <laughs> Not if I rip your intestines out first. Such bitter hatred. Both sinister and their fight is just as vicious. 
It's obvious why the first Hanzo forced them into a no hostilities pact. Peace cannot bring back what anger has driven away. Why would Lord Iatsu summon them to Sunpu to reopen old wounds? Is there another reason for this demonstration of technique? Ninja? A good sword is one left in the scabbard. You suggest to whittle away the ninja to determine the next Tokugawa Shogun? Wretched within the Edo castle, loyalties have been severed into two factions. The rooted partisans siding with Hidetada Zare and firstborn Takachio fear the untried insurgents backed by those devoted to his younger son, Kunachio. Even high-ranking ministers are turning against their own kin. If this rupture goes unresolved, the Tokugawa kingdom will be torn apart. That is why I have come. Your wisdom goes well beyond your years, Tenkai. I have meditated on this matter for countless hours, my lord. A fallen blossom does not return to its branch. What is done is done. Hiditada's sons are not interested in sentimental plans. It is clear both desire to inherit the next seat of power. You must offer a solution that is befitting a samurai family. Settle this treachery with the clashing of swords. But the Tokugawa samurai must not perish if others are expendable. So, you suggest the ninja? I do, my lord. Give them a reason to fight, and they will eagerly accept the challenge and slay each other in a sea of blood. <laughs> a victor will be decided, and it won't hurt us in the least. I've seen enough. Call them off! Stop! Enough! Koga and Iga clans? That was truly extraordinary. Who could have guessed that lethal ninjas lurk so close to Yagyu lands? I am both amazed and wary of this. I had heard stories of these extraordinary techniques from my predecessor, but the skills displayed by these two today are beyond anything I've ever seen. Hmm. A fine demonstration indeed. Ogan of the Iga, Koga Danjo, I commend you both. Know that I am well pleased today. Thank you, Lord Yasuo. Now then, an adverse rift has ruptured the Tokugawa faction. A battle between your clans will determine the next Shogun. Do you accept? May I be so bold, my lord? Speak, Danjo. We Koga have been enemies of the Iga for 400 years. Even if the Tokugawa weren't in penitent disarray, we'd fight to the death. But our clans are bound by the No Hostilities Pact that was forced upon us by the former Hattori Hanzo. Now, if this pact was abolished... As you wish, my lord. Hmm. Wise choice, Hanzo. It is settled. Let us proceed. The Koga and the Iga shall hereby inscribe the names of Tin Ninja on these two scrolls. The Koga will fight for Lord Kunichio, Hiditada's second son, and the Iga will fight on behalf of the long-standing heir, Lord Takachio. This fight will last to the bitter end, and the clan whose proponents avoid the clutches of death shall inherit the spoils. The victor will bear favored status for a thousand years. Kazamachi, go now to the Koga. Take this to the Iga, Yashimaru. It seems we find ourselves right where we began. Indeed. Our grandchildren are so in love. Just when I thought there might be peace between us. What a shame. Knowing them, they're probably meeting at this very moment. It's a tragedy. I guess they were born under the wrong star, Donjo. The wrong star. Yes, I suppose that's it. Fate has spoken. And fortune's delivery is frightening.
When we're together, life seems so simple and unwavering. Yes. Sometimes I wish the Koga and Ika clans were no more, and we no longer had to hide our love for one another, that we were the only ones in this world. We won't have to hide it much longer. The Koga Elder is on my side. Even Hattori Hanzo wants our families to make amends and stop this senseless fighting. We could ask him to mediate. If anyone can work out a treaty between our people, it's Hanzo. Yes. I hope you're right. The sun's setting. We should go. It won't be long. We'll be together soon. I promise. What's the matter, Ogun Dono? Will it really come to pass? Of course it will. Will there be peace? In our lifetime, will there be peace between us? Never give in to your fear or doubts. You and I have to be strong, Ogun Dono. We have to keep talking to our families. We'll get through, and peace will come, I promise. But we have to know this in our hearts. <sighs> Ogin Dono. Don't worry, Danja-sama. I'll be strong, as long as you're with me. You're so dear to me. You are my life, Ogin, my love. You've said my name as if you were family. will start soon, my love. I purified my body just for you before I came. This was no ordinary assault. This is war. But why the Iga? The Oda. I'll finish this one. Where's the Elder? Ogun! Are you hurt? My shoulder. It's nothing. I just grazed it. He's gone. We rushed over here, but it was too late. I'm sorry. A Koga here? Donjo, what's the meaning of this? So that's how it is. We must leave before the Ego are annihilated. Take the survivors and run. I'll kill them. Okay, no. Please, there are too many. <laughs> Nobunaga must be mad. A sane man would not commit such a heinous act. He will be crushed for this night of plunder. Go now, to the gate. Go back to the Koga now. I'll come to you someday. I promise, Donjo Sama. I won't leave you. Not until I get you to a safe place. Now let's tend to your wound. Ah! <laughs> 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 
That's a Koga star. Why would we be involved in this attack? Danjo sama! <sighs> Renbu? What were you doing in Subakakure? My business is my own. Why are you attacking the Yiga? Do we Koga need a reason for that? You've gotten too soft. The Elder has given me the mandate to execute all Yiga. What? The Oda have launched a full-scale attack. We're just picking off the ones that try to escape. The Elder realized that if we help the Oda, we could destroy the Iga once and for all. I am your chief! I order you to stop this! We were told not to obey your orders tonight, Donjo! Every last Iga must be destroyed! I won't allow it! It was all a lie. I was blind. The Koga never wanted peace. You lied to me. Hogan, what are you saying? Wait, please. This has to be a mistake. Hogan, your wound! Let me see. Take your hand away. That's more than just a graze. It's close to one of your vital points. Please, you have to let me see. Ogan! was not meant to be. I will hunt you to the death. Donjo! I fear for you, old Ogun. You are not familiar with the shinobi of the Kogamanjadani, are you? Fear for yourself, Donjo. You know nothing of the Iga Subagakure Ten. Don't you mean nine? <laughs> you let your guard down. It had to be done at some point anyway. I just as soon get it over with now. This isn't about love. It's survival. Farewell, my love. This is the fate of those born into war, Hogan. <laughs> 